Welcome back to Cloth with Cody. My name is Cody and I'm here to bring you day five of the flats and hand washing challenge. Today's prompt was to have an open topic, meaning we could discuss with you anything we wanted to about the challenge. So I chose to bring my husband on the channel today to share with you his input on cloth. When I was before we were pregnant with Marcus, I had brought up the idea that I wanted a cloth diaper and he was completely against it. He wanted nothing to do with it. You can't get them clean. They're unsanitary. We're not doing it. And so I did some more research and tried to like slowly introduce him and share with him what I knew about cloth. And then I just started buying them and packages would come and I'd show him the cute prints and kind of got some that he was... Uh, interested in the prints and colors that he would enjoy so I g got those. So he started catching on to the prints and colors that I was getting and saw that I was trying to con him into it and he would start looking around to different ones that I would when I'd be online I was like oh look at this print look at this print and started liking him a little bit more that way and so then when Marcus was born I just started trying him on Marcus and showing um, him that they fit and they were really cute and he he eventually caught on and so I want to share with you what he thought of them and how I convinced him or how he finally felt comfortable with the idea so hopefully this will if any of you women out there are trying to convince your husbands to cloth diaper hopefully this video will help you and so here's my husband All right I am addressing the cloth diaper community or potential thereof uh, my wife sideswiped me yet again about a year and a half ago with an absolutely goofy idea of having our upcoming newborn baby to be made to use cloth diapers. I immediately and with no hesitation declared that it is a ridiculous idea and that there was less than zero chance of such a thing would be happening. Uh, seriously, are, are we in the uh, frontier days? Are we next jumping into our covered wagon and heading out west? Uh, I really didn't take to the idea at all. But, as my wife always seems to do, she kept man woman explaining to me uh, carefully and, and very uh, diligently about why we should be using cloth diapers. I really began to become mortified by the idea. I just could not wrap my mind around the whole concept. I was starting to freak out a bit, daydreaming of such a messy proposal. Uh, it can be daunting in your mind. Now, as a good husband and father, I did try very hard to understand why she was so insistent on cloth diapering. Now, it's been over four months since our baby was born, and guess what? We are using cloth diapers. Uh-huh. That's right, she got her way again. Fellas in the audience, we know this happens way too much. Our gals get their way, but that's a whole separate topic. We'll leave that. So now that more than four months have gone by and we have been cloth diapering, I will say that it does take a commitment. That it is worth it for several reasons. And by now, anyone watching these ongoing videos knows most of why it can be worth it. The effort, the uh, the planning to maintain a cloth diapering system, and it kind of is a system, it's not overly complicated. For me, I love that the baby is not wrapped in plastic, and that stuff coming out of a factory unnaturally is uh, sticking to the bottom of our baby. And I tell you what, the, the money saved is a lot. It adds up, uh, you get that calculator out, you add it up at weeks and months and years, uh, really it makes a difference. And, and some might not feel quite as strongly about this part of it. And um, your garbage dump, where all our garbage go, is not getting fuller uh, because we need to diaper our baby. Um, and that, that dump site is getting too full too quick. Um, so I, I think that's something that matters. It does. Um, and the, and the final reason I think that I had the most apprehension about was smells and filthiness and uncleanness and unsafeness. Um, she attends to them pretty quick. Um, I don't need to touch any of them. She's for cleaning. She does pretty well and has a system. And it, it, it wasn't as 
as bad or at all bad as I thought. Um, and that's the important thing is that um, you you have a system. Get your system in place. It works fine. Um, so there we are. I, I'd say give it a try. Um, and I think once you do and you've done it, you'll you'll be happy about it. And and know this, you're you're gonna go places and doing things and you'll you'll have to have some store bought and plastic diapers. It's just gonna be part of it, but it's not very often for us. Not at all. Um very few. Um so for now that's all I have to say and I uh I thank you for uh listening to my ramblings. Bye now. Thank you for watching. I hope that was informative and will help you in your clots I bring journey. Come back tomorrow for day six of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge where I share with you what's working for us and what's not. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that video and comment below if you have any tips or tricks that could maybe help other viewers that my husband didn't mention about convincing each other and getting everybody on board with the idea of clots I bring. Have a good night.